it started from a very casual remark. Actually, it was a somewhat desperate remark, as I recall, that Kate made because we were discussing um, how we could explain certain elements of the plot, particularly why Dagwon was behaving the way he did, why he was so terrified by the, the Kanath the, and the commander yeah. and, and where he had met the commander before. I know your face. Hello, old friend. So Kate said we could do a flashback. <laughs> I think I wrote it. Probably in my casual way, yeah. yeah. And I was like, yes, let's do a flashback. There's a writ out for your arrest. They're coming. You need to go now. No. So we actually came up with a number of different flashbacks. What happened to Ren's mother, what happened to Dagon, what happened to this. And with the thought that maybe at some point some of these should be filmed and used and things. And as we were discussing these different ones, we realized that one of them that we had sort of come up with took place in Ren's house. We had Ren's house and it would disappear within a matter of weeks. So if we didn't shoot that flashback then and there, we weren't going to shoot it at all because the idea of building Ren's house again just for that flashback was kind of crazy. I first found out about the flashback scene about a week after I thought I'd wrapped. I thought it was all done. I was very excited to find out that I had more to go um, and I couldn't wait to find out what the scene involved. We had literally a one week to shoot all the interiors because of the lighting package and everything. So it all became a little bit stressful and kind of crazy because we all started frantically writing scenes. You wrote some scenes, I wrote some scenes, Chris wrote some scenes. And I think even the night before, I was kind of putting those all together and pulling ideas from all the different scripts. And I think I ended up with two different sort of very similar scenes that we actually, the poor guys had to like pretty much learn on the day. So yeah, there were two different scripts. We, we got get given two different versions of the same scene at about six o'clock in the morning um, to shoot in about an hour from that point. Um, they were very similar, which made it difficult to learn the differences between them. You need to get your children out of here. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop saying it. I'm still going to say no. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't entirely clear at that point exactly where this scene was going to fit, both in terms of where in the piece and tonally. So yeah, we had to shoot different, two different versions to give the maximum option. We also had to cast the young Wren very quickly. But luckily, we had actually found our young Wren previously because we had auditioned boys and girls for the part of Bainan. Run! No! You scared me out to death! And look at the state of you! I'm not Bainan, I'm last of the evil marked ones. I think when we were auditioning, we went, oh, Taylor, mm. she actually looked very much like, like Sophie. Sophie, yeah. And um, we had said at the time, if we ever did a flashback. Yeah. You glowed, and now you could. You quit that. <laughs> the flashbacks, it was on off for a little bit and then we needed a whole new costume because young Ren was going to be there. Young Ren, young Dagron, young Torbury, young Bainan, which was like a Coke bottle wrapped up. <laughs> so, yeah, the magic of film. But we had to do a miniature version of, of Ren's costume, decided that that's probably what she would have been wearing her whole life and, you know, using the same fabric over and over again and stuff, so, yeah. But I remember getting yeah. back to the studio the night before and seeing the light on in the costume yeah. room and thinking, yeah, they're still making the costumes yeah. for tomorrow. And oh my sure goodness, enough. yeah, I, seriously, yeah, we were. Oh my, that was so <laughs> stressful. Like, oh, I just, see, in hindsight, I'm like, you know, you just had to do it. But when I was in it, I was like, ah! <laughs> I did some of the set dressing for Ren's flashback house with Chris and that was really fun to do as well because... You finally we, got out of the office. <laughs> I finally escaped from the office and because uh, it was quite desperate. The time was very short mm. and I was really aware that if we didn't, if we weren't ready to shoot the next morning, it was, we were not going to make it that day. Yeah, we had to like literally, I think, finish filming one that night, the night before, yeah. photograph everything, strip the whole place down, redress it for the flashback 
with the idea of then dressing it back into the modern yes the exactly modern thing yeah. yeah it was a lot of work for like one essentially one scene yes. which might not even end up in the final season but I really enjoyed shooting that scene. I really enjoyed the dialogue. It was a very different style of dialogue than Torbury had had in, in the other episodes. Um, and it just, it just gave me something different to work with. It was probably my favorite scene that I shot in the entirety of Wren. You take care of them while I'm gone. Of course. I'll explain everything. No, never. I don't want them spending the rest of their lives fighting and fearing the Kanath. Gotta keep them safe. Why? Why did I listen to Khan? Erin's still alive, Torbury. She's out there. She will come back. It creates a, a, a much stronger connection between Torbury and his family, and Ren and her father and her entire background, which was missing from the main script, and it was really good to see how those characters fit together in a larger picture. It was disappointing that it wasn't in there, but I do understand why, because well, there's no other flashbacks in the, in the piece. So I fully understand why it wasn't included, but it's good to see it back again and just remind myself of how different that was compared to the experience of filming the rest of it. So we need more episodes of Ren. Everyone wants to see what happens next. Uh, I want to see what happens next with Ren. I want to see what happens with Torbury, but we need your help to do it. Uh, we need you to go to the Kickstarter campaign and pledge as much as you can, you can afford to spare and just help us get this back on everyone's screens. Yeah.